Hey folks, it's Papa. Papa Texas. PT. That'd be me. That's right. What do we got going on on this beautiful day? Beef ribs. This is the tribute going out May 9th for Phil, Phil and Florence. And so this, I don't do beef ribs. You know, I don't eat much. I haven't eaten, I've eaten beef ribs once in 20 years. I'm sorry. I'm a baby back, boy. Anyway, we're going to do some uh, beef ribs on the Weber kettle. Offset cooking. We're going to be using the Smart Row. And uh, we'll bring the temps up. We'll be keeping an eye on the temp of the Weber kettle. And we'll be keeping an eye on the, on the ribs. Yeah. So we're going to go to some music. And Papa's going to put his little earbuds, these new things, they, they're like awesome. It's kind of new to me. But I can listen to music in my ears, and I'm kind of deaf. And I can enjoy myself while I'm working. That's right, I'm going to go to that. I'll hit y'all with some music, show y'all a couple things. I'm not taking the... I'm not taking the back off. I may just score it. I don't know. But I can let y'all see it. We're going to put some music on. Yeah. Then you don't have to hear me going, yeah, like I do five times an hour. <laughs> Y'all enjoy. See you at the end, and I'll show you the results. Let's shrink that beef back and show the bone. Yeah. Olive oil and some Uncle Steve's ethic meat. Yeah, we're going peppery on this thing. That's what Phil did. That's what Phil did. I just didn't feel like putting salt and pepper on it. I'm going to use that. Yeah, I'm lazy. <laughs> Here we go. Enjoy. Thank you. 
I'm gonna scope, let's let them rest. I'll come back and I'll show you my filling corns. Beef ribs. Yeah. Well, don't know how good you can see that, but that's my completed uh, beef ribs. Smoked beef ribs. Like I said, I haven't uh, done this in 20 years. And uh, I've been out, if you see dirty fingernails, I'm really sorry. I'm working out in the garden and I'm over here putting some strawberries in gutters. Yeah. That's going to be awesome. You'll see that soon. Uh, let's try one of these bad boys. Yeah. And also, this is the first time I used this. This is the Smart Row. I'm going to use it a few times before I tell y'all what I think about it, but uh, it has magnets on the back. I'll leave a link to it, but uh, I had no problem with it today. I really enjoyed that. All right, we're going to go in here, and y'all can see that. I'm going to cut right there. You know, these ribs do not compare with fills. I'm not using my lighting, but you can kind of see the ring on there and stuff. This looks pretty good. Oh yeah. Mmm. I left that skin on the bottom. But really good wow I'm lazy using Uncle Steve's thick meat put an awesome flavor on there I could have ate all that I tried to find some really thick ribs like uh, Phil had couldn't find them. I went to seven stores yesterday. I gave up. Got this. Oh yeah. That seasoning is awesome. Great job. If you haven't had beef ribs in a while, get you some. Try it. They are really good. I guess I'm a pork baby bags. Baby bags, baby. But they are really good. Again, this is my tribute cook for Phil and Florence, May 9th. Check out the other channels. Uh, there's a hashtag somewhere. You can click on it and they'll all come up. Actually, I'll make a playlist with that hashtag. And as I see them, I'll add them in there and you just go to my playlist and find them. That's one way to do it. I like playlists. Ah, I'm gonna finish this up and one more. Now I'm gonna get back to my strawberries. Yeah. I got my idea doing that. Oh, there's a gutter right there. You can see it. I got a new thing in the background, a gutter. I'm gonna have strawberries grow from it. That's from Dan, home of the sticks. He made me think about doing that because he does it. All right. Keep your shine on. It's Papa. Papa Texas. Papa's Kitchen. Big W made me that. Yeah. Take care. Stay safe. See ya. Should cut that membrane off, Papa. Yeah. <laughs> Hit that bell. It's dinner time. Dinner bell. <laughs> yeah.